People have asked me how to easily set up a minimal UI in WoW Classic, uh, but this really works for uh, just anyone who wants to customize their UI uh, extensively. So I'm going to suggest that you go ahead and get LVUI. It's a full inter place, bleh, interface replacement. You can replace every single setting of every single window it's really nice that it's all in one package so you go ahead and search lvui and then you click on classic or you can go to the menu up here uh, and then go to add-ons lvui download classic and then just click download now it will give you a lvui zip in your downloads folder We're going to go ahead and extract that and throw it into your add-ons folder. If you don't know where that is, uh, it's in program files, x86, World of Warcraft, Classic, Interface, Add-ons. And then you just place those two folders that you got downloaded, the LVI and LVI options, and uh, throw them in there. Then you can go ahead and start your game. If you're copying new add-ons into that folder, uh, you need to restart the game if your game's already running. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new character. The eccentric often. So when you first log in, you're going to get a window like this. Uh, this is the installation window. You only see this once. You don't want to just skip it. You want to go ahead and set up your CVARs. These are like uh, settings in the background of the WoW Classic client. So it's nice to just set these so that you're starting at a good uh, spot. Because uh, some other add-ons, or you may have changed them differently in the in a different time um, or the defaults they just kind of suck so this just sets up uh, all your CVARs for you it's nice uh, then you can set up your chat because LVI has two windows here uh, they have the left chat window and the right chat window generally you put like your combat text or you put your loot stuff all in the left window and then you have like your uh, chat like actual chat in the uh, left or right you can pick which one you want but you just hit set up chat and like here you can see it put a loot window here and the general chat here uh, then i can go to profiles so a shared profile is like if you want to have a profile for all your characters you want all your characters to have the same ui then you would click share profile and then just make sure that you are on the same profile but if you want a different ui for all your different characters you can do that too you can hit new profile. Um, this is the theme setup. We're going to be changing the theme anyway, so you don't really need to mess with this, but you can if you want. Uh, the auto scale UI or the UI scale, you can uh, change the size of everything in the UI, which is nice. So if you're a grandma playing this, you can make everything way big and it's a lot easier to see now. Yay. Or if you're a zoomer, uh, and you want everything tiny you can do that too that's really nice it's just one setting and it changes everything um then you have their default layouts you can pick them if you want but you don't really need to uh you have aura bars and icons if you want bars with uh your auras and click this otherwise just don't click anything you don't need to uh just hit finish here and that will make that installation window go away and it will just finalize all the settings um, and then you can disable this tutorial window as well so now that you have your LVI set up this is just the basic look it looks okay but as I said you can change everything so let's go ahead and hit exit and we can go to our LVI options window this has everything for LVI in it um, Let's go to profiles first, because that's uh, profiles hold all the settings for uh, the UI in one one like group of settings. So right now I'm on the default, but 
I can always change to different profiles if I want to. And so when I make a new character, if I wanted to be on the same profile as all my other characters, then I could do that. Or if I wanted my own, or if I want to be on default, then I can. Or say all my warriors have one profile, or whatever. If you want to share your profile, or save it, say if you're reinstalling Windows and you want to keep your UI settings, then uh, you go to Export Profile, and then you just hit Export Now, and it will make a string. This profile doesn't have very much on it. Let me go to a more profile. So you can see there's a lot of settings here that get saved. Um, this just compresses it all into a text string, so it, it's uh, easy to share. So I can just copy this out and then save it on my drive or share it with my friends and email or whatever. Um, and then also you can go to import profile and then just paste any uh, profiles you get from friends or from the web and you can import all those settings. So let's go ahead and do that now. There is a site called Uh, wago.io w-a-g-o dot i-o and uh, it has all sorts of uh, the different profiles for people like you have weak auras here but and then you also have LVI here so if you click LVI you get to this thing and you probably only want classic I failed classic uh, UIs because if you're getting Shadowlands, it'll have settings that Classic Wild doesn't even have. So say you're looking at profiles and you're like, wow, this looks really cool. I like this profile. Then you can go ahead and click this copy LVI import string. And guess what? You import it. So we go back to our game. We go to import. This imports into a new profile called Lucky One DPS Tank. Hit import now and it will set us to Lucky One DPS Tank. And it have it has all the settings already set up for us. So now um, that makes it easy just to completely change your UI. Um, and then one thing I'll talk about, oh no, is that I didn't know when I first started is that these chat panels you can hide them temporarily if you want by clicking these arrows if you want really minimal because then now you got no chat and then you can always reopen them back up by just clicking that arrow in the corner uh, let's go back to the default here because this is what you'll be seeing um, the next thing is just in the general you have like the UI scale uh, but mostly everything else you want to leave media it's nice you can change your font here for everything so you can replace the combat font and you can replace the name font and then you can also replace the font of everything in your LVI which is quite a bit of stuff so say you don't like PT Sans Narrow for whatever reason like you want a more bold looking you could change to Porky and say your eyes are bad again you want to go just bigger so you can see everything you can change that all here and then you can apply it to all and you can see it applied it to my action bars my chat my uh, tooltip everything in here um and then textures uh it makes the bars look slightly different but generally it doesn't do much the borders the colors here uh, it's nice it has the global colors of like uh, borders around anything so like if I change it to white you can see here that there's a lot of borders on buttons on windows on action bars just everything has a border so if you want to change that color you can backdrop color is like the backdrop of buttons like this right now it's all dark so you can't really even tell the difference but if I set it to white then you can see there's a uh, different backdrop colors and then if I want the backdrop, backdrop faded color, this is for like uh, the background of windows and stuff. Uh, along with the color, it also has an alpha slider. That's transparency. So right now it is 80% transparent. 
you can't tell totally, but you can like see stuff through this. But if I change it way down here, you can see, yeah, oh, everything is transparent now. So that's kind of nice for whenever you're in a window and you like want to be able to still see what's going on around you. Uh, you can make everything a little bit transparent. Now, Blizz UI improvements just means there's a couple extra windows in here that get uh, overridden, but you can change back to the Blizzard if you want to. So right now I'm using the LVI loot window and the loot roll window, and there's some other stuff, so you can change that. And the chat bubbles if you want to change the font or the size or whatever. Um, so those are just the general. Then all you got over here, you got action bars, buffs, chat, nameplates and unit frames so nameplates are you know um over someone's name right now they're not enabled but if i turn it on see i like the default lui nameplate is perfectly fine you can see here uh, but if you want to change them then you go to nameplates and you can see there are a ton of settings you can change um, but we are not going to go through every single setting um, and then unit frames are just any anything that's here in your ui pretty much um and there's general settings uh individual units so one unit so like one player one target target of target pet um and then group units like party raid you know so there's all of those settings in here and then also for moving them you go down here to this button called toggle anchors and then you can move everything uh, that you want easily. So like I don't like my mini map in the top corner. I can just drag it over here Super easy to do that and then I hit lock and it's locked in place here. You can see it's right there And it it's I really like this because you can drag things around live and see exactly how it looks uh, when you're moving it um, and then stuff is also titled so you know exactly what thing you're editing so I, I want my bar 5 under my bar 3 that's easy I can just do it and then you can also change if you just want to move it like one pixel you can do that too so say I want my player frame to be more under my player and in the middle then I can do that and I can hit lock and then there it's right here um, and then one other thing nice about this frame this toggle anchors uh, thing where you can move everything is also if you forget where the settings page is so like minimap oh I forgot where that settings page was if you right click it then it will open the settings for this page so that's really nice so like bar one oh I want to open the bar one settings so now it opened the bar one settings for me by right clicking so that's pretty nice so yeah, I'm not going to go through everything, but that's pretty much just how to get it installed and get it set up. If you don't want to go through and edit every single thing, then I would suggest just going to Wago and looking at a profile that you like and just importing it um, and then selecting it. So, like this is my default UI that I keep on all my characters. Um, and I have it uploaded on my go in case you want to look at it, but that's about it. Thanks for watching